Hello everyone, Navetta here. Welcome to this next Let's Play Judgment episode. So, in the last episode, uh, we met the prosecutors. Very interesting. Pretty much our counterparts in the case going on. And uh, now we're going to go talk with Shintani. Of course, I made a lot of new friends, which I thought was really cool. Pretty much everyone around the vicinity here it was really fun interacting with people especially given Tsukumo that little figurine he wanted I like him he's cool um, so there's a whole lot of other friends I haven't uh, met yet and I would like to so maybe we'll get to that later for now let's talk with Shintani I hope this is the right place. I get so lost sometimes. Oh, yes it is. Here you go. Hey, Yagami. The hell were you thinking sending Kaito here by himself? Guy acts like he owns a goddamn place. <laughs> All hail King Kaito. Just sit your ass down, would you? <laughs> Oh, hail. All right. Let's first talk to everyone else. If they have anything to say. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, he does. Just got the call from Mafia-kun. Sounds like they're seriously gearing up for this trial. You and Shintani better be ready. Well, we're going to try our best. We still need to gather more evidence. So, we finally have some details from the cops. Murder specifics, forensic results, even their proof that Hamura is the one who did it. That's a lot. Let's see it. But first... Hmm? Just don't forget your role in all of this. Especially you, Yagami. At the end of the day, you're just a mercenary. The one who decides how this investigation goes is me. Understand? You got it. It's your show. Now, why don't we look at those documents, Shintani-sensei? That's more like it. First up is the crime scene. Huh. Around 6 a.m., morning of December 4th, police get a call about a body in the alleyway behind a moor. The officer who rushed to the scene confirmed the corpse on arrival. Oh, okay. About quick search mode. Quick search mode is used when examining pieces of evidence. You'll get a complete view of the object in question on the left side of the screen during quick search mode. On the right side of the screen, you'll see an enlarged view of the area as well as a cursor. The parts of evidence you can examine will appear in the enlarged view on the right side of the screen. Press X while the cursor is hovering over a particular area. Pressing X will allow you to examine that area further. Examine your evidence thoroughly and satisfy all the objectives in order to complete the investigation. I have to figure out the cause of death first. This has got to be it. Ooh, interesting. Hey. Okay, let's examine. Victim was a Kansai thug. Bottom feeder with the Kyori clan. Toshiro Kume. Body had a few bruises, but the cause of death is pretty obvious. Two puncture wounds. Straight through the eyes. The cops think the murderer used something like an ice pick, pierced right into his brain. My eyes hurt just thinking about it. Oh, <sighs> you're telling me. Looks like the murder weapon went through Kume's eyes, then tore him out when the killer took it back. Only natural to think the Tojo was trying to make an example out of him. You know, threaten the Kyore. So even if Hamura didn't do it, it's damn likely that someone from the Tojo clan did. And if we can figure out who it was, Hamuro will be off the hook. What? Find the real killer? That's a step too far. Priority number one is proving his alibi. If we do that, we're in the clear. Mm-hmm. Something's not right. If this were... If this is where the murder happened, where is the blood? What else can we look at? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. hey. 
There's pretty much no blood anywhere near the body, meaning Kume wasn't murdered in that alley. If I had to guess, I'd say he died in a moor. Next, I need to figure out how they dispose of the corpse. How they disposed? Oh. Hey. Night of the crime, an employee from another bar tossed their trash out in this alley. Around 2 a.m. Didn't see anything out of the ordinary, though. In other words, Kume got dumped sometime between 2 and 6 a.m. when the body was found. Uh huh. Hmm. Nothing was found in Kume's pockets. No wallet, no phone, nothing. Bet the murderer broke the phone. Cops tried one of those find my phone things, but came up empty handed. Guess the killer at least tried to cover his tracks. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if there's any other surprise things we can look up. But it doesn't seem like it. So let's move on. You take a peek in the alley when you were over at Amor? Doubt there's any traces left at this point. But it's apparently just out the back. Anyway... This is Kume. Just before he died. Before the killer took his eyes. Come on, don't say stuff like that. So what's the prosecution's angle on this? Well, try thinking about it in the context of the Tojo Kyori feud. Two other Kyori Yakuza turned up dead before this, each with their eyes gouged out. Not a far leap to assume the Tojo's responsible for all three murders. You follow? There's a good chance the murders are the result of a Tojo clan versus Kyori clan turf war. Yep, go on. All right, this is how the prosecution thinks it all went down. Hmm, let's see. December 3rd, just around nine o'clock, right out front of Club Amor. An argument breaks out between Captain Hamura of the Matsugane family and Kume and Murase of the Kyore clan. Hamura and his thugs drag Kume into the club, at which point Murase abandons Kume and flees the scene. Hummer then locks Kume in a moor for around an hour, while he and his boys beat the daylights out of the guy. Around 10 p.m., Hummer kicks everyone out, leaving only himself and Kume in the club. Up to that point, their story matches the camera footage and the testimony we have from the owner of a moor. The prosecution's story continues as follows. Once the two of them were alone, Hamura tortured Kume even more violently. Then, between 2 and 3 a.m., he drove a sharp weapon into Kume's eye, killing him instantly. Once he finished gouging Kume's eyes out, Hamura dumped the body in the alley behind Amor. When questioned, Hamura said, me and Kume left Amor around midnight. I went for a steam right after. But since no evidence can back up that claim, the prosecution doubts its credibility. 6 a.m. on the morning of the 4th, Kume's body was found. And one week later, they arrested Hamura. So they've got three things. The camera footage, the blood stains in the club, and Hamura's Swiss cheese alibi. Any of those alone wouldn't be enough to get a conviction. But with all three, the prosecution thinks they've got this case in the bag. End of the day, to them it's just Yakuza offing Yakuza. Guess there's a lot of reasons for them to suspect Hamura. But just like um, Hamura's alibi is no good. Uh, 
how can they know for sure that he's the one who gouged the eyes out and everything? Where, where's the evidence for that? Makes sense they'd see it that way. I'm more interested in what you think, though. Did Hamura actually kill Kume? I don't know. The guy rubs me the wrong way, yeah. But I'm pretty sure he's innocent. A cunning Yakuza like Hamura wouldn't just offload the corpse in an alley like that. Too sloppy. If he really did it, forget about the eyes. You'd never even find the body. Agreed. That's Arshintani Sensei. Prickliest guy in town. But damn if he's not a terrific lawyer. With you there. Um. Was that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> what? Something wrong? If Hamra didn't do it, the person who did is still out there somewhere. Huh? We've just got to find them if we want to clear Hamra's name. Ha! You think we've got the manpower for that? Tracking down a criminal like that takes an entire organized front. Best leaving that to the cops, if you ask me. My only job here is defending Hamra. A lawyer's job is only to prove reasonable doubt, not the defendant's innocence. To them, the truth is irrelevant. Then what's your next move? Ah, uh, gonna need some more info on the victim. Remember Kumi's buddy? The one who ran off when the Matsugani boys jumped him. Name's Akira Murase, from the Kyore clan. I want to hear what he has to say. About what? About what he did after he watched Kume get dragged into the club. Did he really just abandon his friend? It's hard to believe. He's right. No self-respecting Yakuza would run off and leave his buddy to die. But I thought they were just the low-feeding guys. Maybe he has no self-respect. Murase must have at least attempted a rescue, but to find out for sure, that would mean... Come on, man. Is this the time to go knocking on the Kyore clan's door? Sounds like suicide to me. I bet they're out for blood after what happened to Kume. One way or another, I want that info from Murase. Huh. You're the ones who have to figure out how to get it. That's the deal, remember? The deal my ass. Poking a hornet's nest ain't gonna get us anything but stung. He's right, though. Come on, Kaito-san. Fine. That's incredibly risky. <laughs> I'd be like, hell no. First things first. We need to find out where the Kyore clan's hiding. They gotta have a base or something. Probably quickest to just go ask Matsugane-san. He's got all the real Tojo clan dirt. Oh, uh, I guess I'll pass. Can't exactly waltz in, being expelled and all. Yeah, I'll take care of this one by myself. I'll call you when I'm done. Okay. Guys, I have a theory. I feel like it's Kaito. I feel like he is the murderer. Why? Because he was expelled from the family, from the clan. So maybe he's trying to frame Hamura and the clan. For doing that i mean that's just a theory i that's the way i am whenever i watch law and order or any shows like these i always think of the most unlikely suspects because that's usually who it is and i just feel like it's kaito you should go see matsugane-san alone sorry i'm kind of useless here but who knows who knows if you do know do not spoil it for me in the comments please okay um you know what? Oh, how have we not met this friend? Let's go. Let's go say hi. Let's make another. Oh, let's beat up some Last guys week. first before we make friends. Another bat. No, no. Stop it. No. I was trying to e freaking evade. Stop it. Get away. Whoa, they dodged. Nice. Oh gosh darn it. Jeez. Anybody drop any money? Money, money, money. No, no money. Alright. 
so in here? Oh, hello, possible new friend. Oh, friend event, yay! Hmm? Sure, why not? What's this all about? Hi. Well, with every 700 yen purchase you make, you'll earn a single point. Call, collect 10 of them to earn a fantastic prize. And what would that be? A limited edition record that's sure to brighten your day. On top of that, each of our branches carries a different record. So please visit us at any store you like. Hmm. We do have a record player back at the office. You're welcome to try it out any time. So everything I buy at Popo counts toward a prize. That's not a bad deal. Ooh, sure. Let's buy... Oh my gosh, this is so expensive. Let's get a... Seaweed onigiri. Oh wait, I have to get... I have to buy 700. Stupid, let me do it again. Yes, of course, 700, eh? A, A. Okay, so then... Here's six... Oh. Oh, no! My inventory is maxed out. What? Oh, well, let me use an item. Hmm. Hmm. Let's use. Oh, slide. I'll just use this. <laughs> I don't know what that did, but I need to use up another one. Okay. Yes. So, let us get one of these. What? Oh, I guess I'm limited max. Oh, of toughness -y. Fine. We'll get something else then. We will get some cigarettes. And... One of these, one of these, all right. Thank you for stopping by. With today's purchase, your points have gone up by one. Yay! Woo! I'll continue working on that. What is that in front of me? Oh, the batting center, right. Uh, we've already talked to them. Oh, so let's talk to these. This guy. Or lady. We are heading to the Matsugane family office. Wait, did I already do that one? Yes, I think I did. But I think you could keep Wait, what? I haven't gone here? Welcome, sir. Oh, okay. Let's buy some soup. Oh, no. What? I can't eat. Oh, I can't be friends with you. Oh, I gotta go find some thugs. I'll be back, sir. Um... Where are them thugs when I need them? Hmm. Who knows? There they are. Oof, almost. Bitch. Ow! Ooh, you're done now. <laughs> That's right. 
Oh man, did I let him hit me? I was supposed to let him hit me. Gosh darn it. Ah, yes, I need life. <laughs> oh, well, I might have to do the same thing here. So let's see. Might. Who knows? Ah! Where is this friend? Here. Yes? Oh, let me see this hangout place first. Hello. Huh? You need something, dude? Oh, no, sorry. Another whole stun with a hard day's work. Probably shouldn't bug him. Alright. Alright. Okay then. Hello, friend. Welcome, sir. What can I get you? Yep, I figured. Let's. Oh my gosh, you guys are expensive. The cheapest one it is grilled garlic. Back to it. Thank you. Are we friends now? Oh, now we can be friends? Welcome, sir. What can I get you? What the hell? When are we going to be friends, sir? I can't. Fine. Jeez. What's over here? Out of oh, can't go. I guess later on we can try again. Man, I gotta spend money to be friends with people. Okay, so let's go. What's that? Curious about that. But I want to see this friend first. Ba -boom, ba -boom. No main story, not yet. I want to go in there. Oh, the music fair again. Same thing. Hmm? Hi. Ah. Fine. Let's buy another one. Another one. And one of these and one of these, yes. They still have a lot of food for whenever I'm in danger. Yay! Yay! Okay. So let's do the story. Matsugane family office. Here, right this way. The Matsugane are an offshoot of the Tojo clan. Not the biggest Yakuza family on the block. They're a small branch that's low on the tree. But the family's patriarch, Mitsugu Matsugane, is like a father to me. And Kaito-san. Excuse me. Yagami-san is here to pay you a visit. Oh, so good to see you again, my boy. Now then, feels like ages since you last stopped by. I know. I wonder why that is, huh? Could it be that you're the only one who's glad to see me? Well, you have a point there. How's Kaito these days? Staying out of trouble? He's okay. If not for that incident, he'd still be part of the family, you know. Hard to believe it's already been a year. Uh, the both of you are more or less the sons I never had. The past is what it is. True. But I'm glad to hear he's doing well, under your watch. I'm sure Kaito-san will always feel like my Aniki. If not for you, I would have taken another direction in life. I'd be a very different person, I think. 
Should have turned out just fine, my boy. Excuse me. T. So then, one would drag you back to an office where you're not exactly welcome. Hamura is giving me some grief. I see now. I was under the assumption Gender is handling the issue. Are you helping him out with the case now? Shintani's got me looking for the Kyori clan. I just need to find them so I can ask him a few things. Not wise, my boy. You do know they're all up in arms right now. Sure you want this? Don't worry. I just want to have a word. Does the name the Kajihira group mean anything to you? No. Can't say that it does. They're a Kansai outfit. It's... They've got a front in the city. The KJ Art office down on Senrio Avenue. Be careful, though. There's Kyori crawling on every floor. These are Tojo clan streets, but that's their turf now. Senrio Avenue. KJ Art, eh? I'll check it out. I know you're busy. Although, you think I could visit your office someday soon? Keep it on the down low? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I like him. He's nice. Kaito-san, just left the Matsugane office. The QRA are shacked up in some place called KJ Art. Huh. And that's where we'll find Morase? Not sure. We won't know if we don't check it out ourselves. You're thinking stakeout, huh? Sounds like the perfect time to give the drone a whirl. That might be our only choice. Fingers crossed. Anyway, I'll see you over there. Head to KJR, oh my god. Okay, first... I want to go over here since it's on the way. Hee <laughs> hee. More friends. That I had to spend money on, yay. Oh, yes. Yes. You asked for it. Oh, yes, back. <laughs> oh. Oh, that must have hurt. Yes. Really, guys? All right. Okay, so let's keep going. Oopsie, sorry. Who is this friend we're gonna meet? In here. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Can I take your order? I don't... I have full... Oh, I don't have full life. Wonderful. Ah, it's the spot. Back to it. Come back again. Mmm. Compliments to the chef. Why, thank you. Yay, number one star owner. Seriously, your chashu was incredible. <laughs> oh yeah? Glad to hear it. A lot of people compliment our ramen, but to be honest, not too many people mention our chashu. Huh, wonder why. It's the strangest thing. We put just as much effort into our chashu as we do our ramen. That's probably why it tastes so good. Ha! <laughs> then I'll let you in on a secret. We do add a special little ingredient that you probably wouldn't expect. Oh? And what would that be? Take a wild guess. Hmm. Can I get a hint? <laughs> Alright then. Let's see. Normally you'd add sugar to sweeten up chashu. But here we use something else. What do you think that could be? Hmm. A substitute for sugar, huh? Gosh, I don't know. It's honey? High fructose corn? I'm gonna say honey. Honey? Mm -hmm. 
Aha! You must have quite the refined palate to figure that one out. With the right amount of honey, you can make nearly any cut of meat drip with sweet, tender goodness. I see. Now that you mention it, that chashu was dripping with sweet, tender goodness. <laughs> Indeed. Say, what's your name? This is Yagami. I'm Yagami. It's nice to meet you. Yagami-san, huh? The pleasure's all mine. Hope to see you around more often. You bet. See you next time. Yay! Hee 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 hee. Thank you, friends. We are now friends. We are now friends. And what in the world is that? Okay. I need to learn how to play Mahjong. Ah, excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. Anyways, guys, this is a good place to stop this episode right here. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. Oh, I gotta see what skills I can get. Yay! See, doing the whole friends thing gets me a lot of a good amount of SP, which I need for more skills so I can survive these battles. Ah, I'm so excited to head to KJ Art and see what uh, the Kyore clan is up to. Hopefully we don't get ourselves killed. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please give it a like, comment below your thoughts, share the video, and subscribe to this channel for more episodes into Judgment. Until the next one, you take a lot of care. Jenny!